What's up guys, I'm back. I just wanted to make a cool little video, you know, just to update myself. I've had a lot of stuff going on and uh, the car is put away right now. It's got a dead battery. The last time I tried to take it out and make a video, you know, that's what happened. So my last CCW video, I really compared the twists um, back to back, if you remember the title. There's a 30 bolt on the left, a 40 bolt on the right, the right side being the newer style. And um, I studied these for a while after this video and I came away with the conclusion that I like the newer style and the 40 bolt better than the one on the left. So you think about it, if those were polished on the right, that'd be a lot of shine, you know, it's cause really all I liked was that extra lip on the left side. But after looking at them over and over and over again, I looked at the old style and I just, they looked really small to me. Like the centers looked too small. And that was always an issue I had on my wheels on my DSG, which brings me to this. I found another DSG lowered about the same height that has a new style, regular classic. So they're standard cut style, everything. So I figured it would be a perfect comparison. I did the best I could on the shots I had to try and um, get you some close angles of the two, but this comparison is pretty much going to show you that if I had to choose between these two in the standard size, I don't know what I would choose. Um, I think they both look good in their own way. I like the way the 30 bolt looks right at this particular angle too, because I'll show you, your eyes can play tricks with you and the shine of the wheel adds a little bit different. Like the ones on the right look like chrome plated where the ones on the left look like a polished wheel. That's just cause they're dull. <laughs> they're duller, those one, other ones are brand new. But um, here's a good example of the wheel looking really small. This is a front wheel. This is my wheel off my DSG after someone really polished it up really good. But it's just showing you how small the inside diameter is. You know, I don't like that you can't see a lot of the brake caliper. So, I mean, I, I've always wished they were a little bit bigger. Um, but it is a cool look, I have to admit. You know, they added that big step wouldn't be there if they had different size faces for the different size wheels. But as I said in my previous video, that the 18s and the 17 inch versions use the same size face plates. So here we go. We're starting off with the newer style. And this is the same picture that was in the title. So I'll zoom past these two. Um, but as you can see, the first one is uh, Definitely has the bigger look going for it. Fills out the fender more where this one's smaller. So you can notice the caliper back there. These ones would look great with like a big brake kit in there. I'm not sure those are ones are even made for it though. Um, here's the angle that we all like to <laughs> take a picture of. The side angle. Now this shot looks really good with the 30 bolts because you got the lip reflecting in the front, giving it that angled look. Because when you can see, um, even the new style are just like this, but it's harder to see on a, such a chrome wheel, how they pop out, they bulge out, kind of like a claw and come around. Yeah, you can't see it too well there, but it, they look really nice. So yeah, the angle shot here looks really good, I think. And you're going to notice on the newer style, the lip here, how they have to fill it in for the tallness to make up for the 18 inch, how there's that space. If you look at the very bottom angle of the wheel, it almost looks like a dished wheel. It plays tricks with your eyes. 
And that's what they did on these wheels with the lip protruding out a little bit. It's not the best angle here. And the rears are obviously deeper being a bigger wheel. This is um, just a straight rear shot. The slideshow did screw a couple of my pictures up. It wouldn't let me duplicate them when I added them in and I noticed that last second. So um, like some of them don't have the right picture afterwards. So it is what it is. But just this looks great to me. That's the newer style. Yeah, and these the older style. Very similar. The rear is harder to tell. But if you look at the face here, it'll come they'll come straight out. It comes straight out and then it bevels down. Similar to this one. Yeah, they pulled it off well for changing the size. This is a good shot of the front to show the the claw look that I was telling you about. And this is the new style. So it looks similar to the old one, just because you can actually see the way the wheels curve now. Here's the old style showing the same view. can see the dish of the wheel. But they did a good job. I think I was a little bit too hard on the new style in the, uh, the other video. You know, both styles have their pluses and minuses, I guess you could say. So here's my car again. Someone had to take vertical pictures. And shout out to, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Joshua Jones, Hasbog on Instagram. He took all the pictures of this newer DS, uh, the newer wheels on the DSG. Because this guy doesn't have an Instagram account. But I tried to get the best angles I could. So if anyone's wheel shopping for these right now, you're going to get a good, another good comparison video. Okay, so side shot. This one's directly in the sun, showing that beautiful DSG paint. Wheels are a little harder to see. That vertical picture. See, this is a where your mind plays tricks on you. The wheels look pretty big here. They fill it up pretty nice, and they're just so new, so they're so blingy, <laughs> shiny. This is the older style in the snow. The shot I took here makes it look like the front tires, like, disappeared. It just looks weird to me. Never cared for that picture. That's the newer one. Kind of a weird shot. Those are the newer rears. This is a good shot right here. I think I'm coming up towards the end of the slideshow. So... I'm doing my best with the pictures because all these ones were taken like vertically and mine are all wide horizontal but you can see how the uh i'm trying to get the angle here the front wheel it looks pretty good you can almost see the the small lip around the front the front wheel
think you guys can tell which ones are the newer and older now. I think that's the owner. Nice tires. This is a really good shot. I miss that color sometimes. It was just a stealthy color because it was mean and it just looked good all the time. It looked good in the sun, it looked good at night. There's the older style. So this video is intended for anyone interested in the wheels. I mean, the old sets out there, the new ones are out there. I actually passed up a old set of 30 bolt regular style to get the set that I'm getting. So I really think it's going to um, just put the car on another level. No one has these wheels yet, so it should look good. These are all the big dogs. You got Greg Miller, the old style that are polished up like brand new. Got the DSG. So even at a distance, the newer style can look really small just because of the your eyes play tricks on you. Those look good. Yeah, and that's it, guys. So, I hope this helps anyone. Uh, I'll get some videos of my car when I can. I'm going to get a new battery soon. And go from there. I just had it up to operating temp on Friday. Which, it's now... Monday, so we're good. It's not like it's permanently in storage because where I live, the weather's bipolar. So, I mean, there's days you can take it out and get it warmed up. So, till the next one, God bless. That's